ओम ज्ञानम दिवेन्द्रस्य ज्ञान जनाशला के आचक्षरण मिल दिवेन तस्मै श्री गुरु नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोवस्तु स्थापित मेन भूतले स्वरूपं कदामि यंददाति सपदंतिकं वन्दे हम श्री गुरु श्री उत पद कमलम श्री गुरु वैष्णव च श्री पुन सागर जातम सहगंड गुणाद तंतम सचिवं साधुवेतम सावदूतम परिजन सहितम कृष्ण चैतन्य देवम श्री राधा कृष्ण पतन सहगंड ललित शिव शाखा दत्तम वेतम च नमः विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय बुद्धले श्रीमती भक्ति दंत स्वामी दे राम ने नमस्ते सरस्वत देवे गौरवणे प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष निमति पास देश करिणे हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत पते गोपेश गोपे कांत रात कांत नमस्ते तप्त कंचन गौरांगी श्री राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विश्वान सुते देवी प्रणामामि हरि प्रिय वंचा कल्पत रूपे सचा कृपा सिंधु वे वचा पतित नाम पावने प्रवेश ने फनमन वा जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्रीपादी गौर हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जगत विश्व भगवान की जय during the chapter approaching krishna and the all pervading truth of course krishna has immense potencies by which he can supply as, as uh, supply as much as anyone wants eko bahunam yo vivadhati kaman he supplies food to the elephant he supplies food to the ant and so why not, why not to the human being but rascal do not know this they work like asses day and night to find bread and if they go to church they also they also they pray give me bread and they are concerned only with the bread problem although the living entity is the son of the richest most opulent person he has created a bread problem this is called ignorance of things if i do not solve my bread problem if i do not drive my trucks day and night how can i live this is nonsense of our modern civilization where is the where, where there is where is there a bread problem krishna can supply unlimited amounts of bread there are thousands of elephants in africa krishna supplies food to them so if he can supply food to the elephants why not to human beings the bhagavatam therefore says don't waste your time with this bread problem tasya vahi to prayata covid रिचर फादर जी मेरा ना पूरा स्क्रीन पे आ नहीं रहा है आप अपना कटा कीजिए मैं एक बार मोबाइल ठीक कर रहा हूँ ठीक Okay. Above the human beings, there are demigods. As we human beings are above the lower animals, above us there are demigods. The most important of whom are Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. 
Lord Brahma is the creator of this universe. Lord Shiva is its destroyer, and Lord Vishnu, who is Krishna himself, is its maintainer. For the maintenance of this material world, there are three gunas or modes of material nature: Satguna, the modes of goodness; Rajguna, the mode of passion; and Tamoguna, the mode of ignorance. Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, and Lord Shiva have each taken charge of one of these modes. Lord Vishnu of Sataguna, Lord Brahma of Rajaguna, Lord Shiva of Tamoguna. Yet these three controllers are not under the influence of the gunas. Just as the superintendent of a jail is not a prisoner, but the controlling officer, so Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, and Lord Brahma cannot control these three gunas, and are not under the controller of the gunas. They are not under the control of the gunas. Ah, uh, Pradeep Prabhu. But above all others, the supreme controller is Krishna, who is known as uh, Rishikesha. The word uh, Rishika means senses. We are enjoying our senses, but ultimately the controller of senses is Krishna. Consider my hand, for example. I claim this is my hand. I can fight you with my with a good feast. Uh, I am very much proud, but I am not controller. The controller is Krishna. Because if he withdraws my hand, power to act, the hand will be paralyzed. Although I claim it's my hand. Rishnam, you have your voice not here. Rishnam, am I audible? Where do everyone? It is my hand. I shall use it. When it is paralyzed, I cannot do anything. Therefore, I, I should understand it. Although I possess this hand by the grace of Krishna, I am not its controller. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, yes, uh, issue Prabhu. A uh, sane man will think if this hand is ultimately controlled by Krishna, then it means it is meant for Krishna. This is common sense understanding. I claim this is my hand, this is my leg, this is my ear. Even a child will speak this way. If we ask a child what is this, he will say it is my hand. But regardless of what we claim, actually it is not our hand. It is given to us. Because I wanted to use my hand in so many ways, Krishna has given it to me. All right, take this hand and use it. So it is a gift from Krishna and therefore a sane man always consciously thinks. Whatever I have in my possession, beginning with this body in my senses, is actually not mine. I have given all this possession to use and if everything ultimately belongs to Krishna, why not use everything for Krishna? This is intelligent and this is Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna. Everyone is a part and parcel of Krishna. Mama Vemso, Jeeva Loke, Jeeva Buddha. And therefore, everyone's senses are also Krishna's. When we use the senses for Krishna's service, we attain the perfection of life. Therefore, Rishike in a Rishike is a Seva Nam Bhakti Rukchayate. When, our, when by our senses, Rishike in a, we serve Rishike, the real master of the senses. That service is called Bhakti. This is very simple definition of Bhakti. Rishike is a Seva Nam, not Rishi, Rishika Seva Nam. Service to the Supreme Master of the senses and not to the sense themselves, senses themselves. When to use our senses for sense gratification, we are in Maya illusion. But when we our when we use our senses for the gratification of the master of the senses, the service is called bhakti. Yes. His grace, Ashwini Prabhuji. Everyone in this material world, everyone is generally using his sense for sense gratification. That is Maya illusion, and that is the cause of one's bondage. But when one comes to Krishna consciousness, when one becomes purified and understands that these senses are actually meant for satisfying Krishna, then he is liberated person, Mukta Purusha. Iha yasya harerda she karma naman sagita nikhila so api avastashu jiva mukta sa uchate. 
a person who acts in the service of krishna with his body mind intelligence and words is a liberated person even within the material world one should come to understand my senses are meant to serve the master of the senses rishikesh the master of the senses is sitting within everyone's heart in bhagavad gita 15th chapter 15th shloka the lord says sat vasya chaham hridhi sannivishto i am seated in everyone's heart matta smriti gyanam apohanam cha and from me comes remembrance knowing knowledge and forgetfulness yes adi prabhu krishna is so merciful that if we want to use our senses in a certain way he will give us a chance to do so the senses are not ours they are krishna's but krishna gives us opportunity to use them according to our desire for example each of us has tongue and suppose we want to eat stool we may say krishna i want to taste stool and krishna will say yes take this body of a hog and eat stool the master is present krishna he will give us an appropriate body and remind us my dear living entity you want to eat stool now you have the proper body in which you to do, uh, to do so similarly if one wants to become a demi god krishna will give a chance to do so that also there are 84 million uh, 84 84 million 8.4 million uh, 84 lakhs forms of life and if one wants to uh, engage one senses in a particular type of body krishna when ke, krishna will give one of one the chance come on here the body you want take it but eventually one will become exasperated by using one senses and ultimately one will become senseless therefore krishna says sarva sarva dharma paritajyam mam ekam sana uh, saranam saranam varajya don't act like this your senses are meant for serving me you are misusing your senses and are therefore being entrapped in different types of body therefore to get relief from this tedious business of accepting one body then giving it up to accept another and again another in continued material existences just give up this process of sense gratification and surrender unto me then you will be saved this is krishna consciousness yes uh, issue through at the present moment our senses are contaminated i am thinking i am american so my senses should be used for the service of my country my society my nation or else i am thinking i am indian and my senses are indian senses and therefore they should be used for india in ignorance one does not know that the senses belong to krishna instead one thinks that one has american senses indian senses or african senses this is called maya illusion in material life the senses are covered by designations such as american indian and african but when our senses are no longer contaminated by all these designation sarvo sarvopadi vimuk vinurtam bhakti begins to think i am an american why shall i take to krishna consciousness and worship a hindu god is foolishness if one thinks i am muhammadan i am krishna or i am hindu one is in illusion one must purify the senses so that one can understand i am a spirit soul and the supreme spirit soul is krishna I am part and parcel of Krishna, and therefore it is my duty to serve Krishna. When one thinks in this way, one immediately becomes free. At that time, one is no longer American, Indian, African, this or that. At that time, one is Krishnaized, or Krishna consciousness, Krishna conscious. That is what we want. That is what is wanted. Therefore, Kunti Devi says, "My dear Krishna, Rishikesh, you are the master of the senses." Uh, yes, uh, Deepak, His Grace, the Shakti Prabhu. Yes. ियल्टीज बाई हर ओन ब्रदर 
that is the nature of this material world the living entities in this world are so jealous that if one's personal interest is hampered one will immediately be ready to give trouble to others even to one's nearest relative yes. the word khala means jealous this material world is a world of jealousy and envy i am envious of you and you are envious of me the krishna conscious movement however is meant for one who is no longer jealous or envious by becoming free from jealousy and envy one becomes a perfect person dharma prajita kavi ketavo tra paramo nirmat sharanam satam bhagavatam canto 1 chapter 1 shloka number 2 those who are jealous and envious are within this material world and those who are not in the spiritual world therefore we can test ourselves if we are jealous or envious of our friends or other associates we are, we are in the material world and if we are not jealous we are in a spiritual world there need be uh, no doubt of whether we are spiritually advanced or not we can test ourselves bhakti pareshana bhavo virakti अन्यत्र च भागवतम कैंटो 11 चैप्टर 2 श्लोक नंबर 42 व्हेन वी ईट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड फॉर आवर सेल्स वेदर आवर एंगर इज सटिस्फाइड वी डोंट हैव टू टेक अ सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम अदर्स सिमिलरली वी कैन टेस्ट फॉर आवर सेल्स वेदर वी आर इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड और द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड इफ वी आर जेलस और एनवियस वी आर इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड इफ वी आर नॉट वी आर इन द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड ओके प्रदीप प्रभु गोपीज i shall become krishna and make the uh, make a society of gopis and enjoy this is maya no one but krishna can be enjoy krishna therefore says in bhagavad gita bhokta ram yajna i am the only enjoyer if we uh, supply ingredients for krishna enjoy, uh, enjoyment we attain the perfection of life but if we want to imitate krishna thinking i shall become god and enjoy like him then we are in maya our natural position is to provide enjoyment for krishna in a in the spiritual world for example krishna enjoy and the gopis the transcendental coward girls supply the ingredient of krishna enjoyment this is bhakti yes issue to the bhakti is relationship between master and servant the servant's duty is to serve the master and the master supplies whatever the servant needs nityo nitya naam chetna chetna naam eko bahu naam bahu naam yo vidahati kamam katha upanishad 2.213 the vedic literature informs us that the krishna can supply all the necessities for one's life there is no scarcity and no economic problem we simply have to try to serve krishna and then everything will be complete if krishna desire there may be ample supplies in america for example there is an ample supply of everything needed although in order in other country this is not so for instance when i went to switzerland i saw that everything there is imported the only thing supplied locally is snow this is all under krishna's control If one becomes a devotee, one will supply. Ample, one will be amply supplied with food, and if one does not become a devotee, one will be covered with snow. Everything is under Krishna's control, so actually there is no scarcity. The only scarcity is scarcity of Krishna consciousness. Yes, uh, of Prudish Martin. Yes, Prudish. Of course, the world is full of dangers, but Kunti Devi says because Devi is your devotee. Save her from the distress imposed upon her by her envious, envious brother. As soon as Devki brother, Devki's brother heard that his sister ate and would kill him, he was immediately ready to kill Devki. But Devki, her husband, pacified him. 
it is the it is the duty of a husband to protect his wife and therefore the his husband said my dear brother in law why are you envious of your sister after all the sister will not kill you it is her son who will kill you. that is a problem so i said you deliver all the sons to you and then you may do whatever you like with them why should you kill this innocent newly uh, newly married girl she is your younger sister and you should protect her just as you just as you would protect your daughter why should you kill her in this way he less hesitated kamsa who believed vasudev vasudev's word that he would bring all the sons Uh, so that if Kamsa wanted, he would kill them. He could kill them. Vasudev thought, "Let me save the present situation. After all, it, if Kamsa later later gets the new key, he may forget this end." But Kamsa never forgot. Instead, he kept Devki and Vasudev in prison for a long time, a teacherum, and killed all their sons. Finally, Krishna appeared and saved Vasudev and Devki. Therefore, we must depend on Krishna, like Devki and Kunti. After Kunti became a widow. The envious Dhritarashtra was always planning ways to kill her sons and the five Pandavas. Because by chance I was born blind, he thought I could not inherit the throne of the kingdom, and instead it went to my younger brother. Now he is dead, so at least my son should get the throne. This is the materialistic propensity. One thinks I shall be happy, my sons will be happy, my community will be happy, my nation will be happy. This is extended selfishness. No one is thinking of Krishna and how Krishna will be happy. Rather, everyone is thinking in terms of his own business. How shall I be happy? How will my children, my community, my society, my nation be happy? Everywhere we shall find this. Everyone is struggling for existence, not thinking of how Krishna will be happy. Krishna consciousness is very sublime. We should try to understand it from Shrimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. and try to engage our senses for the service of the master of the senses rishi kesha rishi kesha sevanam then we shall actually be happy do you want to stop uh, udit bro yes we we can do it we have 5 minutes we can discuss so we can close it timely yes bro new next chapter is starting now after this next yes next then chapter. we shall be actually happy uh, आप मार्क कर सकते हैं याद रख सकते हैं डेंजरस एनकाउंटर डेंजरस एनकाउंटर सेवेंथ चैप्टर कितने चैप्टर इसमें टोटल नो है क्या यार इन ट्वेंटी फाइव हाँ ज़्यादा होंगे ट्वेंटी फाइव चैप्टर्स हैं हाँ ऑल द सुलोकास तो ये ट्वेंटी सिक्स सुलोकास अच्छा 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 ये ट्वेंटी सिक्स चैप्टर The chapter one shlok was being discussed. Okay. Okay. Take. Can I stop and can discuss? So yeah, I I like the point of uh, Prabhupad. Initially also Prabhupad mentioned, then after that, Prabhupad mentioned about happiness. He said that in this world, there is तो आ, हम लोग सिर्फ ट्राई ही कर रहे हैं हैप्पी होने का जैसे प्रपाद लास्ट बुक भी हम पढ़ रहे थे तो प्रपाद कैमल का एग्जांपल दिया कि ही इज़ आल्सो टेकिंग प्लेजर इन हिज ओन ब्लड तो हमारा जितना भी प्लेजर है इस संसार में हम देख रहे हैं कि एक्चुअली अपने ब्लड में ही प्लेजर ले रहे हैं कि मेरा घर मेरी गाड़ी मेरा मेरे बच्चे ये नहीं सोच रहे कि ये कितना ब्लड में प्लेजर लेने जैसा है ना जैसे ऑफिस में पूरे साल काम करें और लास्ट में थोड़ा सा प्रमोशन मिलके थोड़ा सा पैसे आ जाए और हम ये समझते हैं कि इसमें कितना प्लेजर है ये नहीं सोचते कि पूरे साल हमने आ, कितना एक्चुअली ब्लड बहाया है जरा से प्लेजर के लिए तो एंड देन प्रभा टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सटेंडेड प्लेजर अपना ही नहीं एक्सटेंडेड प्लेजर की मेरे मेरे बच्चे का बेना बेनिफिट हो इसका मेरी कम्यूनिटी का बेनिफिट हो इस तरह से उसको एक्सटेंडेड प्लेजर प्रभा बोल रहे हैं Or no one is thinking that Krishna can say pleasure on him. When someone starts thinking, then he is a devotee. So I like this point of the book. Uh, thank, thank you so much thank for you so giving much, me the opportunity to speak. Thank you, thank you so much, Rudi. Rudi, my one point was very good. Laga, Prabhu has very simple told us that if if our our hearts are jealous or envious, envious, then we are in the material world. And until then, and if 
एंड वी सो जेलेसी नहीं है तो वी कैन वी कैन मतलब वी कैन मेक श्योर ऑल दो वी नीड टू मेक श्योर फ्रॉम आवर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर वेदर इट इज और नॉट बट तो फॉर एक्सटेंड इट जी की हाँ मतलब तब आप कह सकते हैं कि आप स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड में हैं सो और ऐसा लगता है औकात से बाहर वाला सिस्टम है तो वहाँ तो दिमाग जाता ही नहीं है पर मेटरलिस्टिक लेवल पे तो होती रहती है कंटिन्यूस आपको एनवी फील होता है और जैलिसी फील होती है तो उसका क्या सॉल्यूशन है मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि वो अगर तीन चीज एनवी जैलिसी और फियर ना हो ना तो चीजें बहुत बेहतर हो सकती है जी नहीं 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 इस रीजन देखो हम संसार में आने का रीजन ही एनवी है इसलिए अगर एनवी खत्म हो गई तो उसका मतलब आप स्पेशल वर्ड में ही हो राइट हम स्पेशल वर्ड से मेटल वर्ड में क्यों भेज दिए जाते हैं क्योंकि spiritual world mein we are jealous of krishna that he is enjoying separately enjoying uh, alone and we want to mm-hmm. out of our envy we want to enjoy separately from krishna so we are thrown into this material world ab agar koi is man who is get rid ho jaye to definitely he will be transported back to spiritual world to wo point to hai ki ha ye jo envy hai it's a, it's a it's not easy thing to get rid of aur wahi ab itna easy hota tha fir to sabhi spiritual world chale jate na सब लोग क्यों नहीं जा रहे हैं तो नॉलेज नहीं है फिर जिनको नॉलेज है फिर वो प्रैक्टिस नहीं कर रहे हैं जो प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं उनको फिर धीरे धीरे चैलेंजेस ज्यादा आते हैं क्योंकि अब कोई कीचड़ में सना हुआ है नहाता नहाता जाएगा नहा तक कई कई जन्मों की कीचड़ में सना हुआ कोई व्यक्ति है उसे नहलाना शुरू करोगे तो ऊपर का तो चला जाएगा मोटी मोटी एनवी चली गई फिर धीरे धीरे और सटल लेवल की आते चली जाएगी जैसे प्रपात जब थे तो उनके होड ब्रदर्स उनके लेवल के वो प्रपात से जेलस किया करते थे प्रपात एक लक्षण बोले भी है इस बात को अब कहने को सन्यासी हैं, बट नाउ देन ऑन अ सर्टेन लेवल जेलसी इज ऑलवेज देयर तो सबका तरीका प्रभु जी एक ही है चैंटिंग चैंटिंग एंड चैंटिंग दैट्स ऑल और हार्ट को क्लीन करने का और कोई तरीका ही नहीं है चैंटिंग और उसको नरिश कैसे भक्त का एसोसिएशन दैट्स ऑल ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रदीप प्रभु सब ठीक है आपके आपके और प्रदीप प्रभु के पॉइंट में जैसे आप बता रहे थे कि स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ का तो एक कोटेशन लगी हुई है टेम्पल में यहाँ ग्वालियर वाले टेम्पल में मेन गेट पे लगाई थी हमने कोटेशन सबने बड़े धूमधाम के वो कोटेशन थी प्रभुपात की उसमें लिखा था कि स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ इज एज द एंड ऑफ ऑल द मटेरियल मिजरीज तो वही डबी स्ट्राइक हुआ मुझे बार बार कि हमें mm-hmm. ये टेस्टिंग मीटर है हमारा कि अगर हम कोई भी प्रजल में मतलब अगर किसी की एक दूसरे की बुराई कर रहे हैं तो वो लाइन हमें बार बार हमें याद दिलाती है या हम किसी से एनवी हो रहे हैं या किसी और से कर रहे हैं तो अभी हम प्रभुपात के जो एक्चुअल विजन था हम उसके पास भी नहीं है नजदीक भी नहीं है तो हम भले कितना सोलह करें चौसठ करें चौबीस करें इट ड मैटर जब तक अगर वो ही नहीं एक बेसिक फंडामेंटली सही नहीं हो पा रहा तो इट नॉट मीन एनीथिंग टू अस और इवन टू प्रभुपात हम बिल्डर कितना भी टेम्पल बनवा ले कितनी भी डी टी कर ले तो Yes, I want to add. Yes, Prabhu ji. Uh, very nice point, Prabhu ji. In fact, ah, ये बिल्कुल fact है मतलब अगर देखा जाए छोटा सा तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर किसी के अंदर envy jealousy खत्म हो गई तो फिर life is sorted हो जाती है. Yes, Prabhu ji. Ah, yes. दस इस के दस सत्ता Prabhu. हाँ, yeah. Yes, Prabhu ji. Prabhu ji. एक पॉइंट जो प्रूपा जी बता रहे थे कि 
वी आर नॉट दिस बॉडी मतलब जब ये पॉइंट बार बार आता है ना कि वी आर नॉट दिस बॉडी वी आर नॉट दिस सोल तो एक बात मन में आती है कि इस बॉडी से फिर हमें क्या करना है तो प्रभुपाल जी ने इसमें बताया था कि वी हैव टू यूज अवर बॉडी टू इन इन द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्णा तो जैसे कि एक प्रभुपाल जी बता रहे थे कि मतलब हम हमें अपने आप को प्रॉप राइटर नहीं मान रहे हैं जैसे कि जैसे कि रजोगुणा तमो गुणा और सतो गुणा उनका उन जैसे रजोगुणा को हम रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं मतलब जो शिव जी हैं वो तमो गुण को एंड मजी रजो नॉट आई थिंक आई थिंक विष्णु सतो गुण को एंड ब्रह्मा जी रजोगुण को एंड शिव जी तमो गुण को आई थिंक मे बी शायद आई एम रॉन्ग यू आर राइट टू यस प्रभु जी तो तो बताते हैं भगवान जैसे प्रोपा जी प्रोपा जी बता रहे थे कि वो भी मतलब प्रॉप राइटर नहीं है बस उन्हें संभाल संभालने के लिए दिया गया है जैसे कि प्रिजन प्रिजन में जो जेलर होता है वो उसको वो पोस्ट दी गई है एक्चुअली वो मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि वो उनका वही काम मतलब उनको एक मतलब ये सेवा दी गई है कि आपको ये करना है तो हमें भी मतलब हमें भी ये हमें भी ये शरीर दिया गया है जिस जिसको हमें भगवान की सर्विस में लगाना है और उससे हम कृष्णा कॉन्सेप्ट हो सकते हैं तो इसको भी स्टेटमेंट आई लाइक थैंक यू सो मच प्रभु जी थैंक यू जी ओके सो विल स्टॉप नाउ दिस टू यस प्रभु जी यस ओके पंचकल्पुर